Hello everyone and welcome to Google. Yeah, I know, I know what you're thinking. It's like, uh, vacant. What are we doing on Google right now? Why am I watching your video? And why are we on Google? And this thing that you hear right now in the background makes kind of a very loud noise. Probably I just burst one of your eardrums. Who knows? But, um, I was looking at some, some things. Like, I was eating this granola bar. And I started, for whatever reason, I just noticed that there's an ingredients list on the back of it here let's uh look look on the back real quick and it just has some things that i have no idea what they are like kara kara jinan i don't even know if i'm saying that right that's how much i don't know what these things are and then i got this can there's nothing in it but um it's called pyroline cream filled wafers chocolate hazelnut it's uh these things right here i got like this exact can but anyways, as you know, from the title of this video and from what we're about to do right now is we are going to see what some of these ingredients that I have no idea what they are. Maybe you have no idea too and we can both learn something. Or maybe you know and you're a genius and you know every single ingredient and every single food and anyways, let's just move on to the ingredients. The first one is dextrose. So apparently dextrose, if I'm even saying that right, is um, a sugar substitute. Um, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I put in dextrose and it came up glucose. Is this right? We're just going to assume it's right. If it's not right, I'm sure one of you smart people will let me know. The next one is niacin. So niacin, um, also known as nicotinic acid. Man, I'm going to mispronounce every single one of these these words, so just be prepared for that. Anyways, it is an organic compound in a form of vitamin B3, an essential human nutrient. Alright, so that's a good nutrient, even though I didn't know about it. It's good for you, apparently. The next one is riboflavin. <laughs> that's kind of a cool name. It's kind of like flavor and like ribs or something put together but anyways riboflavin is also known as a vitamin b2 it is a vitamin found in food and used as a dietary supplement food sources include eggs green vegetables milk etc i'm not going to go through all these different foods it's a vitamin so at least we know riboflavin is healthy the next one is thymine mononitrate and um, apparently it's a chemical compound and um, I don't know oh it plays an important role in helping the body convert carbohydrates and fat into energy it is essential for normal growth and development um, can I just hold on can I just get a, like a container of these that can just reduce you know The next one is Diggly Surdide. I 100% mispronounced that, but moving on, uh, is two fatty acid chains um, bonded to a glycerol molecule through. Oh my gosh, what? I don't even. I'm reading this paragraph and I still have no idea what it what it is. All right, so it says right here, mono and in the Diggly uh, can contain small amounts of trans fat, and we all know trans fat is the the bad fat. Great, now my now my wrapper is ripped, and I can't even read the ingredients anymore. All I know is that whatever I ate was probably unhealthy, probably reduced my uh, my lifespan by like three minutes, and. Uh, had a bunch of stuff that I had no idea it even existed. Well, that's going to do it for ingredients you didn't know existed. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Tell me how many ingredients that we went over did you know and did you not know. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because you should have already hit it by now. I don't know what you're doing. And I will see you guys next time.